Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Banish. Let's just get right back in. Let's get right back in. So, last episode, expansion. We did a lot of expansion, which is really exciting. We're setting up our blocks. We're getting another. We had another schoolhouse drop because we have a lot of kids. We have a hundred and like thirty-ish people or so, hundred thirty-one members. Everything is just looking excellent right now, and I'm really excited about that. I truly am. We are gonna need more graves shortly I think I mean we still got quite a little bit to go but um, we're still looking good our cows and stuff are looking good we're gonna start cranking up the cows a little bit um, just a little bit we'll, we'll just slaughter from here for now and then we'll up the number of cows we have over here and the reason I want to up the cows is that when uh, when we do if we ever want more pastures or whatever we could just pull them from here and we'll have more cows to go to another pasture essentially um, we have a lot of people working the stone over here. Like, supplies and everything is just looking great. Now, why do we have so many people over here? All right, let's uh, continue on with our construction. We have somebody who died crushed by a rock. It happens, you know, whatever. It's a dangerous job out there. You don't really want to, you know, it's going to happen. All right, I just can't can't stop it. Happiness and, ha and health are excellent right now, which is good. I'm really happy about that. Uh, we're going to grow some squash over here. Um, which is gonna need max farmers, which should have, there we go, maximum number of farmers, continuing to work on the food, and we, I would like to get this all taken care of, but this house is kind of in the way, um, I might move it, we'll see, not totally sold on the idea of moving it quite yet, but it is an option in my mind, let's also drop another road, where is it, there it is, stone road, just like to get the roads up, get that all done, and boom, just to have that done. We also have it marked over here, this uh, this dirt road. Oh, it already got taken out. I had dirt road marked to be removed. I, when I started the episode, it wasn't removed yet, but it looks like it got removed when I wasn't looking, which is totally good. Um, how's our firewood? Our firewood is still really low. Um, we still do have enough people cutting the firewood, which is good. And our logs, the amount of logs we have is actually getting pretty fucking low, too. We might want to look into getting that under taken, uh, getting that taken care of. Maybe getting another foresting lodge over here. This leads to here. If we wanted another foresting lodge, yep, yeah, firewood is low. Not harvest trees. I apologize. Forester's lodge. We could get another one over here. Let's go ahead and put that down. Let's go ahead and get that being built right now. Um, we'll get another forester's lodge over here. We can get some people to live over here too, which is fine. Is that firewood? Firewood is low. Firewood is low. We want a stone house. Oh, it should have people getting, like, living over here if we have the opportunity to do it. So, we'll have people moving in. A lot of food, which is good to see. Merchant has arrived with plum seeds. You know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll go... So that's, uh, 4,000, 2,000. So we need... What, like, 2,500? Whatever. I'll just do this. Overpaying by 20 units, it's fine. Trade and dismiss. We have plum seeds now, which we could play with, which is good. We'll get that underway. Um, where, the question is, do I want to get underway? It's tough, because farmland over here, this is, in my opinion, this is like the most unorganized looking area in the fucking world. It's ugly as hell, and it's incredibly unorganized looking, but hey, it is what it is. Um, could get actually some plum trees over here. Could get an orchard over here. I mean, we already have a farm over here, so we might as well. And everybody's living and building over here. Could do it. Let's see. We want to get an orchard up. What is that gonna, how much, how big do we want to make it? Can only make it 15, probably 15 by 15, right? Yeah, 15 by 15, sure. Let's do it. Let's take a 15 by 15-er. Get it all underway. Iron is low, iron is low. Do we have a lot of miners? We do have miners, we do have quite a bit. Let's get max miners working in there. Getting as much of the iron as we can. We're gonna need it. We're getting a lot of building done right now, so might as well. Expansion is going exceptionally well too. Has anybody really come over here? Yep, they have. This is also being finished as well. Take a sip of my cappuccino while this is being built. Ah, delicious. 
Uh, let's take a look. Hospital. It's a hospital? This is a hospital. We might want to start looking into building a hospital shortly. <sighs> yeah, we're th I'm thinking about it. Something I, I definitely think I want to do at some point. Getting a hospital up. I think the question just is when. When do I want to do that? You know? Food is still for floating quite a lot, which is good. This is going to be necessary. Let's take a look at our foresters. Getting another couple up here. Have them be put to good use. Another couple. There we go. Hopefully that'll help with a lot of our wood situation as we're under a thousand. And that is something I'd rather not have be at. I want the log limit up. You know what? Let's crank it up. The log, let's like make sure they're always essentially working. 5,000 logs I think is plenty. Look at this. We got a house now. A couple foresters living there, which is great. Let's get some roads built. Over this way now. Good. Whoop. Somebody died. Uh, crushed by a rock happens. I'd rather see people getting crushed by rocks than have to worry about them dying from, um, than dying of, like, starvation and stuff. So we want, uh, plums. And this is our orchard workers. Let's go ahead and crank. Are these considered farmers? I think they are. They are. So we'll go ahead and plant them. Yep, I knew that. All right. Do one other blacksmith? Eh, we'll wait. We have 22 farmers now. I'm really, really focusing on our food, like, heavily, as you can tell. Um, I just feel like it's going to be the best thing to focus on for a while. Until everything is kind of all said and done. So we got some stone, uh, we got some uh, stone roads being built. We have 15 cattle in here, which is great. Glad to see that. Let's get another house underway. Oh, somebody dying? Reserve of iron is low. Somebody must have died of old age or something and somebody took over. So we'll go ahead and have one builder for now. Let's get another house there. Iron is low. I'm, that's all right. Iron being low is better than firewood being low. Now, and always we can always pull down the amount of firewood that we have here. Cattle, nah. We don't need any more cattle right now. Tempting, but no. Very, very tempting. So we got plum trees growing. I'm so tempted to actually start expanding over here and just like creating this nice, beautiful city, kind of out of this area. But this is like our trees, you know, and I don't want to, I don't want to fuck with that. Let's see. Why is that not working? Get a bridge up there. Need that. I just want to get across here because it's going to be easy for them to walk across and grab the trees that they are going to be uh, cutting down over here. So that's something I want to do. Could also maybe build a tunnel, but they're already going around. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Get another stone roads there. Can even remove some roads over here. Get rid of that. Might get rid of this house too. I think it might be necessary. This is not full. It's good. I have plenty of storage space over here. How about over here? How's the storage space looking? Food is getting a little low, a little worried about it. Probably because of expansion. This will help provide some food. Let's actually remove this house. Yep, they're going to be homeless for a tiny bit. Not for very long, though. They actually have people living over here if we wanted. But we'll wait. We'll wait. Whoop, we're down a farmer. People are dying. People are dying left and right. Let's pull out some miners. Let's get another builder there. A couple farmers. Keep uh, keep one labor. Keep an eye on everything. This is like where my eyes are 90% of the time when I'm playing this game. It's over here. It just shows me, alright, who's missing where. When I'm playing this game, I find myself always looking up here, which is a good thing. It's like playing an RTS in a way where your eyes are always on the minimap. This is where you're going to get most of your information. We got somebody who's starving to death, and she's probably taking the longest route of all time to get to where she needs to go. So she needs to get on her road. There you go. 
Tassandi. That's an interesting name, Tassandi. It's a weird, weird name to be given to one of your kids, Tassandi. Strange. Hopefully they can just eat their food out of here. I don't know where they're going. They're like all kinds all over the place. Herb limits. Let's go ahead and crank that up to 1,500. Do we still have as many herbs as we need? Let's uh, crank that up to 2,500 herbs. The more people we have, the more people we need their health, the higher their health to be. Happiness is maxed out, which is really, really good. We do have a few extra laborers now, which is excellent, excellent. Um, let's see. Where do we want them working? We can put them back in the mines. A couple people more, in the, uh, a couple more people in the mines. This is being uh, taken care of. Let's get a house. Let's go ahead and put a house here. Have a couple builders doing that. In the meantime, getting up another farm. This is what I wanted. Crop field. Not there. There we go. Perfect. A couple builders there. Awesome. We'll have another farm working here. So squash, squash. Potato, corn, potato. So we'll have another corn. We'll do another corn right here. How are we looking over here? We'll crank this up to... 15 as well. They have max there. Make sure that's of use. Alright. Food is back up to a really high standards, which is good. I'm very happy to see that. Oh, we lost a builder. Must have died of old age. Yep. If it doesn't pop up down here, that means they've died of old age. How's our hunters? I wonder if we really need them that much anymore. Though we still have quite a lot of uh, need for food, so I'm kind of worried maybe. So we want uh, corn. Right? So we need another farmer. Put him there. And then we do have two builders right now. We'll, when they're done, we'll go ahead and reassign one as a farmer. For now, they're just building this house that I had taken out. And they are replacing it. While that's happening, we will... Stretch out some road. Very productive uh, episode so far. Very happy about that. Get that done. So there's plenty of places to walk. Do you have any people living in the boarding house? No. Good. And we only have one person living here. So this might have been unnecessary. But the teacher. So she lives right next to where she works. Which is perfect. Uh, Taylor doesn't have what he needs. Required materials. No leather. So we definitely need the hunters for that alone. Here comes a merchant. What do you got, buddy? Holy crap, you've got a lot. Uh, steel tools. Tempting, but no. I'm going to take all your food. All your food. Chicken breast, huh? Uh, you know what? I'll take your chicken breast. And then this will be... An additional X amount. I think my cat's freaking out and playing over there again, as she tends to do. Can we go faster? Not going as fast as I'd like. People are dying of old age, but hey, whatever. Where is it? 900? How about we just type in 950 so I don't have to click a million more times? 50 units. Trade! Dismiss. Lots of food. Lots and lots and lots of food. Good, good, good. We have a lot of... We could probably put another trader in here. Just to have him working with somebody. Two traders. Need an extra herdsman. A couple farmers. Still have two laborers left over. 108. What are we at? 136 members, so we've grown by five. Not an amazing amount, but hey. This farm is so out of place. But hey, whatever. Um, we have that... We should have that bridge up now, which is good. We'll go ahead and get another road from the bridge. Over. Want people to be able to walk over here nice and easily. Nice little nature sanctuary area. We could even put maybe like a hunting thing over. Oh, these must be nomads. Okay, that's a lot of nomads. That is a lot, a lot, a lot of nomads. I don't know if we're going to be ready to take them all. Hmm... Let's see. Is it? Are they nomads? Yep, they are. 22 nomads have moved in. No risk, no reward, right? Let's do it. 
Let's take them. They should all live in here. But we're going to go ahead and start cranking out the houses that we need. Immediately giving them everything that we have to. We can put them to work for now while we, while we wait. Get them all working. Every single one. A couple laborers is fine. But let's get these guys fucking built. Good. Now granted, um, the, you know, their kids, or the adults that moved in, are completely... What was that? What are you doing? Weirdo. Uh, the adult, adults that are moved in are completely uneducated, but they're gonna provide us with, like, a labor force, which is important. Now they're gonna be, as you can see, they're already a massive drain on our food, which is my biggest concern. Um, hopefully it won't be that big of a deal. It, I really don't think it will be. I think we have enough food production to really sustain most of them. We'll end up seeing. Uh, we'll end up seeing how it ends up working for us. Hmm. I'm definitely nervous. That was definitely a risky decision on my part to pull them in. We'll see how it pays off. If it pays off. All right, we don't need that many workers and uh, builders anymore. What can I do with them? Maybe we might need some more tools. Not really. Food is definitely low. We're gonna have to start expanding farms, I think, along the longer side here. Maybe making this area farmland. And this area city. But we have lots of, lots of houses and still need more. Still need more houses. Big time. There we go. Get roads around it. Nice tree in the center. Looks cute. I like it. Getting them there. Getting them their houses, man, as fast as possible. Might need another church. Holy crap, we might need another quarry too soon. Let's go ahead and give them the orders to take down all this stone. Go ahead and grab all that. It'll be useful for them. Um, you know, since we have so, so many fucking workers, we can easily start doing uh, upgrades on the houses. And we should have the, the materials to do it, and I definitely want to turn all of this into stone houses eventually, so... That's what we're gonna do. This, uh, farmer, farmer, child. How are we looking as far as, uh, people living here? Jesus, man. Still so many. Let's go ahead and start planning out... Oh no, what's here? Oh wait, maybe I was just dumb. So it would be like... That. That. The next block of houses. I wish there was like a hotkey I could press to pause this thing, but I, there isn't. It's the next block of houses. It's the next project right there. Getting this all built up. But for now, this will work fine. 51 years into our, our village, things are still going well. Food is holding. Food is holding. That's good. How full are we over here? Pretty full. What can I do? Hmm. Mm -mm. Merchants here. Good. He actually brought food. That's what I was hoping for. We'll even take, um... We'll see. I'm not gonna take the seeds. Oh, he's 2,000 of everything. Jesus. I don't know if I can pull in 2,000, but we are going to take in 4,000's worth of stuff, I think. Mm. Do this. And give 4,000. What happens if I give 100? How much extra am I getting out of this? Another 1,500. So we'll go ahead and do that, 1,500, and we'll pull in another... 
Uh, another set of... Man, he brought a lot. We'll pull in the, the plums. Perfect. Trade. Dismiss. What is this? You received an award. Trader. Cool. I don't know what that does, but I got my first award. Alright, see you later, buddy. Off you go. Got lots and lots of food to pull. Good thing I actually put that extra uh, worker over here. Alright. Get this up and running. How the houses are so fucking full. It's insane. Absolutely insane. How we... We're almost... We're more than halfway done with depleted with this. We might put another quarry over here, to be honest with you. Let's take a look. Can I put a bridge between here? I can. Um, let's see. Quarry, quarry, quarry. No, I can't really fit it over here. It's going to have to go over here. Alright. Just thinking ahead of time. Like, where am I going to put my next quarry? We're going to need it soon. Sooner rather than later. Also, how are our coats? How are our jackets? We still have 214 jackets, which is good. Everything's still good. Everything's still really good. Church is good. Happiness is full. Health is hanging in there. May want to plop in another uh, another blacksmith just to have him. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and pop that out. Start putting more houses. I mean, these are so friggin' full. We're gonna need them. Gonna need them. Yep. We could put maybe something over here. Maybe like a some the quarry or something over here. It's always an option. Looks like the farmers are gonna get ready to start farming soon as winter is coming to an end. And we're gonna have ourselves a uh, plenty of farm space to start working, which is good. Fishermen. Do we have our max fishermen? We do have max of, of our fishermen. That's good. Might even want another set of fishermen soon enough. Though we still have uh, 10,000 food floating, which is really good. Is that a, I think I maxed out on 20, right? 20,000? Yeah. We're not even close to getting to that, though. Iron reserve is low. I kind of figured as much. Might want another mine. But we don't really have enough people to support another mine. We have maximum people working the mine right now, so... That's fine with me. And our houses are being built, which is good. Glad to see that. Marketplace is actually being used excellently. Very happy about that. We might even put another couple people in the marketplace so we have the spare people. So have four people working this marketplace. Good. And I'm thinking we're going to have to wrap this episode up here. Things are exploding, though. The town is starting to blow up. And we're able to sustain it. So that's my that's the best part. I mean, look, you can see we jump, jump, jump. So uh, children are going down, which is good. Students are going up. They can meet in equilibrium, which is excellent. Good stuff. I'm assuming this is just iron, stone, and all that good stuff. So we'll stop here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you're enjoying the series, making sure you hit a like, comment is the best way to show your support. And if you have yet to do so, hit that subscribe button for more daily banished. And I'll see all of you guys next time. Bye bye.